Tom, me, me is me, and we, Tom May TV, back at Universal. It is Sunday the 29th as of the taping of this, and we'll try and get it right out tonight, but uh, it is literally days, some overexcited people might say hours before the start of Halloween Horror Nights. And we're going to go poke around and see what we can find. I think there's going to be some very interesting developments. Here at the Haunting of Hill House facade, next to SpongeBob, they've put out the menu. And we've got Nell's Tea Party Sandwiches, stuffed brisket, jalapeno popper, a Reuben, a grilled cheese. Oh yeah, this is comfort, comfort food in, in uh, the Haunting of Hill House place. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, we're we're definitely gonna be. I'm when when uh, when Halloween Horror Nights opens, I'm making a beeline for the Haunting of Hill House, and uh, then right after that, this. <laughs> the driver's beautiful. Wow, that shout out for the driver. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> one to ten. Oh. Everyone gorgeous there today at the Maryland Parade. It's 10.40 a.m. on a uh, Sunday. Despicable me, only a 35 minute wait. So pretty light on crowds on a Sunday, on a lazy Sunday. So with Rip Ride in the background, they have added Games of Chance here this Sunday. Look at the fabulous, uh, trying to get people in to throw footballs. We're, uh, we're good at eating food. Yeah. Is that a challenge here anywhere? Just do it. Everywhere. Just do it. Just do it. Okay, got it. I challenge you. Perfect. Pumpkin toss. Pumpkin toss. We've got, uh... <laughs> That looks like a balloon thing. We got basketball shots for creepy uh, prizes. And of course that thing, that blaster. There's an inside the box balloon. So I don't know what that other thing is down there. Pretty cool. And then on the little guy's got a little bit easier shot there. So that is fun, definitely fun. So at the Wee Slaughter Barbecue tent, they, uh, look at this, Rhonda May. The Grandma Skeleton Tray. Grandma Skeleton, Grandma's <laughs> Skeleton Tray. Plant-based sausage uh, and chicken. Leatherface cherry pie though, mmm, that, yeah. I love a cherry pie. But do I want a leather face cherry pie? I think I do. I think I do. So around the park, when you see the gray bricks and white roofs, I think pretty much what you're seeing is different bars. This one features Jack in the middle, but we've got a poison tea party. Um, drinks there. Uh, some canned beer, some draft beer, and uh, I think you're going to see these all over the park, as we already have. Okay, we found hashtag, yes, hashtag, so Halloween Horror Nights, are you going or are you hiding? Yep, that's just what I thought, that's just what I thought. <laughs> yeah, Hash is like, yep, yeah, that, that's going to be his spot, so that's where hashtag will be. Halloween Horror Nights, oh man. Inside the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store 
is contained script writing. There are many references in these writings to the insane asylum where Jack the Clown and his brother Eddie were born. So, who wrote these pages of script? Maybe if we go investigate, we can figure out the mystery of the Halloween Horror Night tribute. So as you first enter this Victorian styled house, we have a picture. Now, does that mean anything to you in the mystery? And here start the references. I've been at Shady Brook for so long. Now so glad to be finally be back in my home where I belong. The familiarity of my house is not lost on me and I can see the intrigue of my other side trying to peer out like the dark times. I sit in my parlor admiring my accomplishments cannot help but wonder when will these all happen again? It surely will happen once more. Hmm.
flirtation I feel with the otherworldly is becoming too great. Study the anatomy of change. And what it's doing to me is causing a great sense of urgency and passion and wish I cannot seem to tame. The real question is do I resist the urges or give in again? It's only a matter of time. I'm afraid. I ponder what's next. But is it really out of the question where the duality of myself is at the forefront of my every waking moment in this house? So we're inside the, the library, I guess. What I'm trying to call, what I've been referring to as kind of the Icons Hall of Fame. So as we try and crack this mystery, though, does it have anything to do with what icons are here? Does it have anything to do with what icons are missing from here? It's an interesting thought to ponder. Is it going to move? Is it going to move? Is it going to move? Ah, the light went out. that's closer to Jack. So we'll see what happens with her this year. Let's watch her eyes. I think something happens with her eyes. Come on. Thanks. Come on, a watch pot never boils. psychological penetration from untamed forces. Know that they are all feel it too. It's coming and it's bigger than ever. The event of the century. I know they will show up in scores of groups from all around town. The question is, when will we all hunt as one? How much will we feed? I know what scares me, and I know what scares them. The horror will commence tonight. Okay, so I bought one of these in a the large size um, on the opening day, actually, of... Uh, 
the uh, house. So uh, I don't see it up yet, and I'm not shocked by that, but I think it'll probably get up there this week, let's hope. They sent me all the notifications and the receipt and stuff, so they use a third-party vendor to do these. There's Rick Flex again. And uh, one that I forgot is uh, Jackie's boyfriend. There's Tim and Jan, and you saw uh, Jackson. But Jackie's boyfriend Sam's right there, and I didn't even recognize him. There he is. So that's pretty cool. Once more into the conservatory. This one might be hard to read here, gang. Everything is beginning to become undone. It's happening again. Shady Brook kept me locked away once, but not this time. This time, the monster will have his mate and feed. The leather will be ripped from the flesh. The house on the hill will be haunted and all icons will emerge as one. No more resisting. No more fighting. No more sorrows. The beast unleashed. Or actually unleashed. The beast that is very hard to read in the dark. So here we have Shady Brook, home for the criminally insane. And it's a wagon, it looks like a a criminally insane transport, and there's somebody in it. You can hear them. They're laughing in their criminally insane way. <laughs> I'm speaking, I'm speaking his language. Rhonda believes she saw something move in this back window. I don't know. Somebody's upset. Somebody's upset in there. Oh man. So what do you think so far, guys? Who's writing the script? Somebody. So the whole Victorian house, it, you came into, uh, you know, a living seating area. You then moved on to the conservatory, and now we're, we're out back at the stables. And the stables is where the treats are and uh, different things which we showed you yesterday. We'll link the video down below. But here is some of the... Just another a great job. Here's some of the horses. Um, Leaving the tribute store. The last part of the mystery. Yes. Whoever was in the transport has now got out. They ran into a sign and a fence at the township of Cary. Oh man. The monster. 
has been released. It is time now to try and figure out who is it that got out of this transport. Got it? Who could it be? Could it be Tame from Tame from TV? <laughs> Okay, so look, that was fun, but it is not Tom of Tom ATV. I'm wondering, is it a new character that was criminally insane at Shady Brook that they're bringing out for next year's Hollywood Horror Nights 2022? I don't know. The other thing I was thinking is, you know, it, it, there's a lot of references in there, but Jack the Clown's not afraid of anything. The other person I wonder who it is, is maybe Eddie. I wonder if it's Jack's brother, Eddie. It's definitely somebody that's been in there. And it doesn't sound like Chance, which we know is Chance after Halloween Horror Nights 25 got committed to Shady Brook. So, we just don't know. Do you know? If you think you know who that person is, leave a comment down in the description. Yeah. Chucky? No. Definitely not. So, Chucky is Rhonda's desk. Um, that's going to do it for that portion of the video. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. We need you to like and subscribe. We need subscribers. And uh, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks for watching. Where else would you rather be, folks, than, than watching, watching some, some Tommy TV? TV.